Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Play Games Poorly. Today's topic, realism. So a big selling point of a lot of the biggest games of this year is their realism. Just take Call of Duty 3 and Battlefield 3, for example. They're both about realism. I'm not saying that these are bad games at all. In fact, I haven't gotten time to play either of them. However, I have been able to play earlier games in both of the series. And I can say that, yes, they are closer to achieving realism than most other games. But no, they're not realistic. And no, games shouldn't try to be realistic. First of all, what makes a game realistic? Well, we've got greybound graphics. I don't know if too many people actually like these. Um, most games nowadays have this sort of gritty feel to them with a uh, black and white or sepia tone type look with a few colors for moments of contrast. And at first it was sort of cool, but it's starting to lose its flair. <sighs> How often do I have to walk through a gross, gritty looking war-torn town while shooting at other people who are gross, gritty looking and the entire game just feels like you should have a little bottle of Purell as your main weapon so you don't catch dysentery. I mean, why is it that every game has to be extremely gross looking? It's just bleh. I mean, take Team Fortress 2. It's, it's a military shooter in its core, and it's similar to a lot of these other games. However, for one, it doesn't take itself too seriously because it can't, because it's not realistic. No game is realistic because it's a game. War is not fun. These games are fun. If war was fun, then we wouldn't need to have drafts. People would be lining up to go and have some fun in the military. But the truth is, war is hell. If you are a soldier, I have 100% respect for you. However, it's not exactly going to be a fun time. You're doing it for your country, not because you're like, yeah, bro, gonna join the army. It's gonna be like, just gonna pop some brews with my broskies. It's not like that. You are going in and you're having your life in danger. You are going to have like camping conditions in some parts or in other parts. Uh, it's like you're going to just be away from your family. It's not going to be fun. The people who do this are giving back to the country not taking away good time. So anyway, re so realism cannot be achieved in a video game because it doesn't have to be, it shouldn't be, because a realistic war game wouldn't be fun. A realistic war game would be hell because war is hell. So Mario is not realistic. Mario is one of the greatest games of all time. It's one of the best series that has ever been made for video games. Is it realistic? I don't know. I guess some plumbers might do hallucinogens and have something similar to that. But please, please games industry. I understand that it's making you money, but please just try to think a little bit outside of the box next time you make a game. How about instead of saying, okay, we're going to do another military shooter, how about starting it off in the Kingdom of Oz? It won't end up as the Kingdom of Oz, but it, you will get a more creative game as of such. Because you will not go from Oz to not Iraqistan. You will go from Oz to some other fun world that you'd actually want to be in. Please, I, there's a spot in the industry for these gritty realistic games, but there's also a spot in this industry for games that are a little bit more fun. And if you don't understand that, well, 